Welcome to the Tough Hub. This is a brand new show brought to you by Tough Africa Global to educate you on real estate business and all the information you need to know about real estate. After 45 years of construction and real estate development in eight African countries, it is time to share my experience and it can only be done in the Tough Hub. We will be inviting experts who will give you facts and the right regulations on real estate development. Join us every week on our social media platforms for an exciting show. You can also watch us on JRTS TV every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Good day and um, welcome again to another Tough Hub. Um, today we have um, a very young man um, uh, by the name of Abbas of Smart Clean. Yeah. He will introduce himself and tell us what he does. Uh, it is part of our initiatives um, at Tough Africa Foundation uh, to promote young Gambians, the youth, empower them and give them business also give them advisory services. So uh, we have um, Abbas with us. Abbas, uh, you can say hello to uh, the viewers. Hello. Uh, before I start, I just want to thank you for inviting me to your flag, uh, uh, platform, Tafu. And uh, my name is Abbas Ba, the CEO of Smart Clean. Um, Smart Clean is a, a cleaning company that uh, provides uh, Clean services with the use of uh, modern day equipment. Uh, we do services like residential cleaning, industrial cleaning, commercial, sofa cleaning, that is dry cleaning services with the carpet. We also clean high level glasses uh, like uh, six story building. We have all those equipment that make life easier for the uh, clients of this country that we, we, we work in with. Oh, excellent. That's lovely. Yeah. And, but, but tell us um, um, uh, the. Um, services you provide in detail. You mentioned about um, uh, cleaning glasses, carpets, and so on. But, but how long have you been doing this? And what brought you into this? Yeah, uh, before I start uh, doing the cleaning business, I was uh, working in a uh, mobile company, mobile shop, Sunrise GSM. So from there, uh, my dad told me that the, the salary was not uh, satisfactory. So he told me to move to the industry, the hotel industry, that is a five-star hotel here. Then uh, from there, I was, I, I was employed as a glass cleaner. And uh, we, 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 were doing a, a, we were doing a job. Uh, it was really impressive because I have never seen the equipment since uh, I started doing this cleaning at the hotel. So. I, I said to myself, uh, there are so many equipments here in the hotel here. People will benefit it outside. I told my partner that, how about we, we create a cleaning company? But this one is going to be smart because, as you can see, the hotel are using technology to make the cleaning very easy. So in 2018, we started it by using this local uh, uh, equipments that, that we normally use, the mop and the brooms. And from there, uh, we started having a contract, this small contract, by cl cleaning this you know, residential. So anything that we, we generate from the cleaning, we, we invest mm -hmm. by buying uh, hoovers. And by, uh, from there, we, we do, we keep on doing it by adding another person that uh, doesn't make it three, three of us. Okay, great. So, great. so from there, uh, Taf was doing this uh, uh, Taf startup. That was in 2018. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll come to that. Yeah. Let, let's go back. Let's go back because, mm -hmm. you know, you're a young man. What's your age? Today, I'm 27. 27? Yeah. Wow. I wish I was just one year younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's excellent, 27. You're still a youth so, man. Yeah, yeah. so, so 20, 27. <laughs> but, but tell me, well, how about your educational background? Uh, have you gone to school? Have you gone to college? What level um, have you stopped in your education? Yes, I did my uh, secondary school at uh, Kamiya Secondary School. 
Okay, Gambia High School. Gambia High School. Oh, that's my alma mater. Yeah. I went to Gambia High School. Too. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. So from there, uh, I went to MDI to do my IT, but I couldn't complete it. I, I just did certificate. Oh, a certificate in IT. Yes, F uh, to, because of family reasons. Yeah. They, they, could, they couldn't uh, continue to pay the school fees, so my dad he decided to tell me that I should find a, a job. A job. And that's how you went to, to the mobile business. Mobile business. And then you connected to, the, that's the former Sheraton. Yes. Or Coral Beach. Yes. Here in the Gambia, right opposite us. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. So so everything you know about cleaning, you know, uh, at what you're doing, you learned on the job in at, at the Sheraton. 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 But how, how long was it for? Just on one year, six months. Wow. Yeah. So in one year, you did your training. Yeah. You were trained at the hotel. Yeah which brought uh, to you to where you are now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's excellent. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but, but uh, how has your business changed since you first started? Uh, and what are the advantages um, uh, it has given you? Well, how has it changed? You started, you said, by using a mop and a broom, local way, uh, you know. And what advantages ha has it given you? Yeah, it has given me so many advantages. Because, uh, like I said, uh, this is... We are doing the the, 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 the smart cleaning mm -hmm, mm -hmm, using mm -hmm. the modern day equipment, wow. which Gambians didn't uh, uh, know. Mm -hmm. And um, since we started, people were very interested mm -hmm. in in our service that we provide mm -hmm. because it 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 saves time and money. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, uh, cleaning sofas. So many people have so many difficulties. Mm -hmm by taking the sofa to the car wash, mm -hmm. carpets, mm -hmm. uh, also cleaning high-level glasses. Mm -hmm. People don't have, uh, uh, like, cleaners that will be providing the service. Mm -hmm. So with that, uh, it's, an, it's a very big advantage mm -hmm. because uh, it has given us so many contracts, mm -hmm. like the high-level glasses. Mm -hmm. Even the hotels, they gave us contracts. There was, uh, it, it, is very, it is very difficult to clean their sofas. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they told us that we have been looking for this kind of services for, mm -hmm. for, so, for so long, and we want you to provide the service for us. Even uh, tough, tough African Global also, the high-level high glasses, their cleaners cannot use the high-level glasses. Mm -hmm. So they also give us the contract to clean. So it's an advantage for us. So, so you were you were the um, second runner-up at the tough uh, startups in 2019. Yes. Um, uh, the tough startups, the star prize was a million dollars, yeah. and then the first runner-up was five hundred thousand dollars, and then uh, the second runner-up, which you got, was two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. Now, uh, t tell me, um, how how has this benefited your company? Yeah, it, it was the, the boss of our company. Because, it, uh, like, we, we were having so many difficulties with equipment. But with this uh, tough startup, though we were aiming for the one million, yeah. but it, it's still the two hundred fifty thousand dollars is have done a lot. Mm -hmm. Because number one, transportation was our big problem. Because in our before we we we, we even won the two hundred fifty thousand, transportation mm. was really challenging. So within the 250,000, uh, we started buying a van, mm -hmm. then other equipment that was lacking, mm -hmm. that will make the job f uh, like fast and, uh, and it will save time for, for people. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest, uh, the 250,000 have done a lot. And though we didn't have what we, we are uh, aiming for, but it has done a lot today. What, what were you aiming for? We were aiming for, we want to, uh, like, you know, we, we want to have uh, like two vans because the, 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 the boys that we, we, the staff that we have was too much. Understand? And sometimes we have two jobs. We have to drop the first team, then drop uh, the second team. But we, with the first van also, it, it has helped us a lot, and other equipments like the high high level glass. We bought equipments uh, that at least we can have two of them. Like so that so that that was three years ago. Yeah, three years ago you got two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, 
but now you have invested in other equipment apart from the van. Yeah. Are you still in need of finances? Yes. <laughs> You're in need of finances. Yes, because cleaning is wide. Oh, it's wide. Yeah. And you can still grow by yeah. getting. So one of your challenges, I guess, is is finances. Yeah. I saw you at the at the gain um, event. Yeah. You were there, not so. Yes. Which is the Gambia Angel Investment I mean, Investors um, uh, Network. Yeah. So you were looking for, for investors in, yeah. in your business. Mm -hmm. So maybe, you know, look at the camera and tell those prospective investors that you are, you are looking for people to invest in your business. Yeah. You never know. Maybe somebody's outside there <laughs> who will contact you and say, yes, I'm ready to put in this amount of money for so much percentage in your, in your business. Yeah. Well, we, we, we are in need of... In, uh, investment those uh, or investors that will invest in our company because cleaning is white uh, investing in our company will bring employment it will bring growth in mm -hmm. our country mm -hmm. the development because we don't want to stop in the Gambia here only we, we just want to also like uh, operate in other part of the uh, outside the country like Nigeria Sierra Leone because we, we have been doing the survey to, to, to see how cleaning business are operated there. So, uh, you know, it will bring a lot of income to someone who will also invest in our Good company. returns. Yes. Wow. Well, I will not ask you the details. So <laughs> you, you, you keep that. Yeah. But, but that, that's quite ambitious. I mean, so you are no longer only thinking about the Gambia. Mm -hmm. um, uh, why? Why are you not only thinking about the Gambia? Yeah, Gambia is not the, the, the only place to, 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 to invest in. Was like the, the in West Africa cleaning, like the way and uh, the, the type of cleaning I'm doing is not many in Africa because mm. uh, I've asked so many people, they always told me that it's not many here. You can have only one or two people that are doing in in, 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 in our country here. You coming in at least, it, it will also boost your company. You have to try and, uh, and and also come here to invest. Well, I like the vision because one of one of one of the um, uh, um, uh, attributes of uh, a good entrepreneur is to be futuristic. Yeah, you know. Um, so, I I, I uh, you know think you're doing the right thing. Yeah, uh, at least thinking thinking big and thinking ahead and if that can do it in in, in why not in nine countries so. <laughs> <laughs> so we why not i wish i was your age i would have definitely gone out you know and explored more but that's good you have enough time to do this mm -hmm. so um uh, people are listening so if there's anybody within the west african sub-region that wants to partner with smart clean from the gambia mm -hmm. um uh, here is an opportunity he's a young man experienced he has a team he will, later he will tell us about this so yes, he's open to um, a partnership. Mm -hmm. Now um, let, let, let's talk about um, um, uh, your your company and how it has benefited um, the community and also the Gambia at large. What what benefits do you think that you have you know um, uh, given out um, uh, to the community and also the Gambia as a country? Yeah, number one is employment opportunities yeah. mm. the youths mm -hmm. because uh, there are so many youths who mm -hmm. are sitting there without no jobs mm. so but i always uh, it's, my, it's part of my ambition to to employ youths of this country mm -hmm. and uh, not everyone have to be at the office you have to start somewhere before going somewhere mm. so uh, number two we we uh, provide uh, affordable cleaning services mm. for for everybody in this country. Mm. And not uh, because some people will be saying that you're working with tough, you're working with all, we cannot afford you. Yeah. So it's not like that. Mm. Uh, everybody, we are here for everybody. Mm. So it's uh, available. We employ a, a job employ a, a job opportunity for the youths. Mm. We we make uh, cleaning like to save money and time. Mm -hmm. So uh, we really benefit uh, people of this country, N not only uh, employment, but others. So yeah, let's, let's talk about employment. Uh, when you first started, how many people did you employ? Two. Only two? Yes. So it was yourself and somebody else? Yes. Or you had no, two, extra. Two, two extra? So four of you were doing it? Yeah. And then let's say fast track, and that was which year? That was in 2018. 2018, so 2018 to 2022, four years. Mm -hmm. So how many do you employ now? 
now we have more than 56. 56? 56, that is the, 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 wow. the part-time workers. Okay. The full-time, we have 15 of them. So 15 are working with you full-time? Yes. And then you have 56 who are working part-time? Part-time, that is based on the contract we are having. Demand, it's based just, on the demand? Demand, yes. Wow, that's interesting, yeah, huh? Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then who are they? I mean, if you, for example, want to grade them in terms of, let's say, gender, uh, male, female, mm -hmm. uh, age-wise, yeah. um, have you done any study like that? And yeah. even probably nationality. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do, you, do you monitor these things? Yeah. Who are they? Yeah, uh, employment from like 18 to 38. Wow. Both male and female. Okay. And we have some other nationalities. Okay. So it's are, mixed. Yeah, it's mixed. Oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah. But you know, you know, in every um, uh, every business has its own challenges, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and barriers, of course. Uh, and, but how how do you deal with, with, with these things, especially you know, um, um, as an employer, uh, you know, as an entrepreneur? Uh, and, and what have you learned about this, you know, um, um, uh, from from all this? You know, challenges are everywhere. We yeah. all have our challenges, huh? Yeah. And but how do you mitigate this, and what have you learned uh, with this? Well, we we face so many. Challenges. In for, for example, a, for example, um, like mm, when we go in, like when we have, uh, like uh, how do you call it, contracts, mm -hmm. like two or three contracts, mm -hmm. emergency contracts. Uh, like I say, one van. I'm the driver. Mm -hmm. I, I drive my uh, guys to all the the the, the, the sites. The sites. Yeah. So. One van, uh, like taking all the, uh, the employees to, uh, to their sites, is a big challenge because f the last group always have this uh, difficulties, the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a big challenge. But what I normally do, uh, do is to get up early in the morning. What time do you start? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? Yes. I, I always told them that. Come to twenty table. That's our meeting point. So all of you meet at twenty table at seven o'clock. Yes. So from there, I started taking people mm -hmm. to their sites. And generally, are they are they on time or are they late? I mean, some people they are late due to the now the, the, the road construction is going on. Mm -hmm. So some people will be late for just thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. So and other thing is equipment. Mm -hmm. When contracts are too much. Mm -hmm. You just have to depend on what you have. Mm -hmm. So that one also is a big challenge. It's a big challenge. Yeah. So uh, especially when we have emergency contracts, too, mm -hmm. you cannot just stop the other contracts mm -hmm. just because uh, because you don't have enough equipment. You just have like those equipments are already been used, so mm -hmm. you just have to let go of other contracts. Though they are paying too much, it's a loss. No, oh, excellent, yeah. excellent. So, 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 what have you learned from this? I mean, and, and how do you try to mitigate it? What are you going to? What are you doing to, to mitigate this these challenges here? Yeah, just to uh, work very hard. Number one, to like to invest more. Okay. Invest more on on equipment, because sometimes when you have two of us for sofa cleaning, mm. and those of us have been used. If you generate income from from those sites, you just have to buy another one for in case. So those are the only things that we we, we normally do. Okay, so you started your business four years ago. Um, now let's let's look ahead, futuristic. So in the next five years, that's uh, twenty twenty seven and beyond. Where where do you f see yourself? Where do you want to be? In Realistically, yeah, huh? being realistic. Yeah. What I, uh, what I always say to myself is, next five years, mm -hmm. at least we want to operate in our own country. Mm -hmm. You understand? And also employ like 300 for office cleaning. Wow. Right now, we, we started office cleaning mm -hmm. by employing 15 mm -hmm. full time. So we, we want to have this number of like 300. Office clean, mm -hmm. office cleaners, both mm -hmm. men and female, and also uh, doing other services too. We want to add other services. Though we we started, but we didn't uh, we, we didn't publish it. Mm 
mm. that is a painting, mm. smart painting, mm. smart editorial. Mm. So, so all those things will be will be a, a, in our services now. Oh, Next excellent! Year, yeah, excellent, excellent. Mm. That's good. That's, so, so you want to, you want to expand, but as you said, uh, beyond the uh, borders of this country, uh, that's fine. Uh, now you employ about seventy or so in mm -hmm. number and you're looking at about about 300 mm -hmm. but let's talk about training how do you train them you, you just employ them is there a process that you train them how, how do you train them because you, you are here jumping from 70 to 300 yes. but i guess it will be gradual mm -hmm. but how do you train them because they need to be trained before we don't train them that's mm -hmm. why we have this challenge from from our clients complaining mm -hmm. on how the job is done mm -hmm. so now we, we used to train them before going to the site mm. by uh, going to our office we have a site whereby you you'll be doing the machine cleaning mm. so one month or like three weeks then we m start to move you to the site mm. there are supervisors that will also give you more experience on the ground so that's how we do it gradually you start to understand the cleaning process yeah, but let, let's talk about money now. I mean, I guess you have grown uh, between 2018 and now, four years, and uh, you have employed, you know, from 70 to, um, well, up to 70, from four people to 70. Uh, I guess you are making money, so I will not go into, <laughs> into, into those details. But, but your employees, mm -hmm. um, how are they, are, they, are they happy with what they earn from you? I mean, comparing it to other type of business or yes. other type of employment? Yes. They're happy because uh, a day, we normally pay them 200. So they, wow. they normally leave it there till the end of the month. That's 6,000. Wow. So 6,000 is a good uh, money to, to pay to your employees. Wow. So others, we increase their, their uh, salaries plus $100. So normally it goes up to seven thousand. Wow. Our, our office cleaners from three thousand five upward. Wow! Wow! That's yeah. good money. That's yeah. good money. Well done. Well yeah. done. At, at, at twenty seven, you yeah. know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> for the employment that you have been creating, mm -hmm. you know. But but also now here you are. You are twenty seven years old. Um, are, are you married? Yes. Wow! You have kids? No. Or I'm not yet? Just, yes. Wow! So you're newlywed? Yes. Uh, okay. I mean, twenty seven. What, what, at what age did you get married? 26. 26? Oh, much earlier than me. I got married at 28. <laughs> ah, so you started life before me. Yes. But that's nice. So um, that's nice. It's nice to see young people like yourself doing this. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's talk to um, your fellow youth. You know, there are quite a number of, you know, young Gambians who are out there who would not probably do cleaning job. You know, here you are, you started, you know, first you dropped IT which was mainly probably more noble as people will see it mm -hmm. to go and do cleaning and today here you are you are employing 70 people yeah. so what advice would you give to the young people of the gambia well the advice i can give is like not everyone can be at the office for me uh, my aim was to be at the office mm. like doing it mm. but uh, things change so it was so I saw an opportunity. I took it, though it was it, it is underrated mm. in, in my country. Yeah, you know, people. If you tell people that you are doing cleaning, you know how people react. Yeah, yeah. But you have your own plans and how to do it to make people impressed on what you do. There are so many jobs too, like carpentry. Mm -hmm. Things it. Carpentry jobs have changed now. Mm. You, can, you, you can bring your own way of doing carpentry, mm. your own style that people will be impressed of. Um, before, there were no startup like to give out uh, grants mm. for you to start mm. your own business. Mm. There, are, there are so many organ organizations mm. like YEP, mm. Take a Fee. You can go to them. You start your own business, but through your own plans. Mm. Some people don't usually go through their plans. They just want to work and, and enjoy. Mm. 
mm. which is bad mm. for business. That has, that's why there are so many youths that started it well, but now they collapse mm. because they just want to enjoy mm. when it's not time. Mm. Uncle Tavi is 30 years before, <laughs> <laughs> before, you know, before enjoying. Yeah. So what I can advise, uh, let's come out, mm. not to sit at the gate or string attire, talk about politics. This doesn't bring development mm -hmm. in a country. Mm -hmm. You just have to get up, go and train, that are carpentry or cleaning or construction job. Mm. Start there, you have experience, you can also bring your own way of doing, like building your own mm -hmm. style of, like own house mm -hmm. with your own style. Mm -hmm. Like Uncle Tavis is doing. Every year, he innovates. Mm. The, the, the houses at Yaramamba and the houses at uh, uh, Taf City is different. Mm. So th that's, that's how p people develop. Mm. That's what I'm also doing from local uh, cleaning to smart cleaning. So this is the only thing I can advise uh, to. Uh, oh, that's uh, excellent. That's yeah. lovely. I mean, you've heard it anyway. I guess you, what, you're, what you're trying to say is to uh, not to look down on any profession, yes. especially Tibet. Mm -hmm. Tibet is, it's, um, it stands for technical and vocational uh, training, mm -hmm. educational training. So, um, so yes, uh, Tibet is key. I mean, there's quite a number of opportunities in this country, you know, for people like yourself or even younger. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad you're, you're doing this. I remember the first time I saw you at my house. I, I should search that video. I, <laughs> I think I, I recorded it, yes. you know, and, and posted it. Mm -hmm. And that was where Fatu Kamara also saw it, yeah. you know, and then um, you Senate, did her yeah. house yeah. and then she also posted it. Mm -hmm. That's the power of social media. I guess you use social media a lot, don't yeah. you? Yeah. So tell, tell people who are watching your, your handles. So if they want to contact you, how can they contact you? Yeah, if you want to contact me, then these are the numbers to call. Uh, 34 or 204-3271. You can also reach us on our email, ygsmartclean262 at gmail.com, or my personal email, abasba262 at gmail.com. If you want to check out our services, these are the, so these are the sites that you uh, check. That is the, the TikTok, smartclean00, smart or Instagram, smartclean19. Uh, with the uh, Twitter, that is my own account that I normally use to uh, advertise my, my services. That is Abbasba64. So, well yeah. done. I, I noticed that you always tag me on your Twitter posts. Yes. I'm going to start charging for <laughs> this, huh? Or shall I wait until you go to other countries? Yes. Then I start taking dividends. Yes, sir. But here we go. Thank you very much, Abbas, for coming into the program. Uh, it's been very interesting. Yeah. I hope Abbas has been able to inspire those young ones who are there. Uh, not to underrate any job that might come up because Rome was never built in a day. Mm. You have to start from somewhere. You've heard my story over and over and over again. I started very young, you know, working as a carpenter and today I am here where I am. So thank you for watching us again on the Tav Hub. Um, it's been a pleasure um, hosting a young Gambian. Um, Please follow us on our social media pages on uh, Instagram, YouTube, Mustafa Jai Das Taf, and also on the local TV stations. Thank you.